Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd. Going to go on a bit of a rant, a bit of a ramble. Excuse any banging that you hear in the background, please. I'm going to be talking about a topic that I've been hearing a lot of people bring up on the internet when discussing some of their favorite artists, some of their favorite discographies, especially once they start getting past that 10-year mark in their career, that 15-year mark in that career, and that is whether or not it's better to burn out or is it better to fade away. And me personally, I would side with fading away. Uh, Reason being that I think it's the healthier of the two options, personally and artistically. Um, I can only really endorse the whole burning out thing if the reason you're burning out or just kind of calling it quits entirely on your music career is that you just don't want to make music anymore and you're just totally out of the mood of doing so and you're just kind of brushing your hands of it and just being done. Uh, Fading away to me is is, it's an inevitability. It's a natural part of the process of being in the public eye, of being a public figure. You're going to have your point where you're at the top of the world, the world is eating out of the palm of your hand, and eventually down the road there are going to be people who essentially replace you and connect to younger audiences, new audiences in a way that you didn't and can't. That doesn't mean that you should stop releasing music entirely or that you still don't have an audience to serve or you still don't have an audience that cares about what you do, but you're just not sort of uh, the zeitgeist like you used to be, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. I don't think is necessarily a shameful thing. Um, I I don't think is necessarily something to be afraid of, Uh, but fading away, even though it sort of has this stronger, more inherent negative connotation to it than I think burning out does. I mean, think about it. Burning out to me is so much nastier because that to me signifies that maybe something had happened that kind of interrupted your music career or your trajectory in such a way that it wasn't planned. Maybe the group broke up, maybe something terrible happened that broke up the group, or maybe you as a solo artist or somebody who was essential part of the group had passed away for whatever reason, even though it might sound in theory glorious, like, whoa, you totally burned out, man. You just like exploded in front of everybody for the whole world to see. And now your three album discography is perfect. (laughs) The truth of the matter is to fade away, to play the long game, to continue releasing music, and to continue growing and evolving and challenging your audience and delivering people who actually love your stuff and actually care about your music more of what you do is so much better, is so much, as as I said before, healthier, uh, so much more sensible. To me, when the audience complains about fading away, that is the audience complaining about, oh, I'm going to hear albums that I don't love, or I'm going to hear albums that I have to really think about whether or not I like them, or I'm going to be hit with one of two inevitabilities. I'm going to be hit with the artist who I enjoy just doesn't sound like the way he used to because he's stagnating in his sound or her sound and is just kind of treading water and uh, it's, it's just boring at this point. It's just uninteresting at this point. So you're going to be hit with that realization or you're going to be hit with The artist who I like is now changing their sound because they're just sort of going for a different sound now because after creating a certain kind of music with a certain kind of sound for so many years, they've decided that they want to go in a different direction, go in a different trajectory, and now we're evolving into something else. And I don't like that too. So (laughs) stagnating creatively and changing are two things that in the long term have never played out 100% well with music listening audiences. You're always going to have those people in your audience who are going to be negative toward those two things. And yet those two things are going to happen no matter what happens. If you have some kind of music career going that is lasting freaking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years. Like, eventually you're going to hit a wall where you have to change or people are going to be uninterested in what you're delivering anymore because you can't deliver anything else. So, to kind of wrap up here, because that that's essentially been my point here. Uh, 
burning out, essentially, or sort of taking the burnout option, is acting like this process of deterioration, this process of change, this process of uh, maybe you just don't have as many essential things to say anymore, uh, is acting like it doesn't happen, when in fact it, it happens to every artist. You know, I, th I think it's just kind of a matter of whether or not that artist decides to allow that process or allow that change to be seen in the public eye. Uh, is is essentially what uh, we're we're deciding here, and honestly, you never know when an artist sort of fades away or starts coming out with their worst stuff or starts coming out with uh, a lot of subpar records. You never know if that artist is going to come back and start dropping like some really great stuff or totally have another piece in their artistic evolution where they actually start releasing uh, some incredible material. I would say like Weezer's White Album serves as an example. I would say uh, David Bowie's Black Star and, you know, even the album previous to that serves as some pretty good examples. I mean, there are a lot of artists out there who have had these second acts in their careers where they're dropping some kind of lackluster stuff, some kind of mediocre stuff, easily not the best of their material, but then once they kind of make it through this awkward transition where they sort of lose their fan base a little bit and they're trying to change their sound and they're trying to reacclimate to a new musical landscape, then once they're past the point of really giving a fuck in the third act of their career, they actually start writing some pretty incredible stuff or making some really bold musical moves that nobody saw coming because they're just at that moment in their career where they just have the freedom to do anything or they've gained the experience to really try to approach anything that they feel like doing or they have the will or they have the desire to go after that sound, go after that concept that has kind of been itching at the back of their heads for years. So me personally, I'm, I'm fade away. I'm fade away all the way. Uh, but I also think that fading away kind of could use a different a, a different name, could use a different descriptor. Because again, going into these to these two choices. Um, I think there's an inherent negativity on one, and that one being the option that is really the better of the two options, honestly. Because while you may have some very loud minority voices out there who hate the direction that a new band is going in, so on and so forth, and hey, maybe they might, they might even be the majority voices at the end of the day, there's still going to be that small or somewhat large cult following of fans who have been there since the beginning, or maybe even a little bit after, who are still liking the new stuff and are still pleased by the new stuff and are still enjoying it. You know, that is to assume that you still have a fan base. <laughs> there are some groups that uh, don't make it very far to begin with. And as a result, once they start fading away and coasting down, there's not, there's, there's not a buffer there. There's not much of a cushion. There's not much to fade away to. You just kind of completely fade out, uh, which is unfortunate. That's just how some careers goes on um, careers go. Unfortunately, um, there are some artists who do find themselves in that position, which is sad, which is unfortunate, but even in that position, that, that's not totally, in L because there's always the chance to completely reinvent everything and come back. I mean, how many artists out there have had these starts to their careers that are essentially non-starts and they kind of fade out for a little bit and then they return kind of revitalized and re-envisioned and reimagined only to uh, achieve great success. Um, I think MF Doom is probably an example of that. You know, like what happened with um, KMD probably would have... Uh, completely ended the careers of most rappers and most artists out there, and yet he came back with this entirely new thing and has essentially become one of the most essential voices in underground rap history. So, listen, fading away, as long as you keep going, there's always that chance. There's always that, that chance for you, know, you to come out with that next great album. Uh, as, as long as you keep making music, as long as you keep recording it, and as long as you keep taking risks and trying new things. There's always going to be that, uh, that opportunity to come out with the, another great project. And there's always going to be that opportunity to actually continue pleasing and entertaining those who truly care about the art that you make, which I think you deprive yourself of and you deprive these people of if you decide, eh, I'm just going to burn out because uh, I feel like just having uh, these four great records I made just kind of stand as the only four great records I made, uh, I, I feel like that's more important. I feel like that's more significant. But 
honestly, I feel like even re-envisioning yourself as an entirely different artist or joining a new band or something like that uh, could be an answer to that problem. You know, if you feel like those are the four artists that you want to make under, or if you want, if you feel like those are the four albums that you want to make under this name and that's it. And now I'm just kind of going to end this now because I'm just sort of going into a rabbit hole here. <laughs> I apologize, guys. This is a, a little impromptu, but I'm, I'm in the zone. So I'm going in because I'm passionate about this. Um, if you feel like those are the four records that you want to make under this particular name, then do something else. Do something else. Start another band. Start another moniker. Start another pseudonym. Whatever. But I feel like ultimately burning out, it's the wrong option. It's the bad option. Let's, uh, let's uh, play the long game instead. Okay. You're the best. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out or you can click on the link to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next one forever.